should address the Steven stuff since everybody's dying to know in here. So now if I watch this movie, it scares me that it'll turn me gay. Bring a machine gun. <laughs> a machine gun. <laughs> the be... second they throw a spear, shoot one of them a thousand times. Is my mother dead? All right, we're live on Patreon, but this is Jeff FM. We are going to be doing a live show. We're going to be slowly starting these out and trying them out, and then we'll have guests on and do some fun shit. Today, we're just having possibly a live weather segment in studio. We might have him pop in, but there's a lot of exciting stuff to talk about. I just went to Mexico, uh, bought a bunch of drugs, brought them back successfully, so that was good. I didn't go to jail for a long, long time. There will be a crazy documentary on that that will probably come out in about seven years from now because i don't know how we're gonna post it but i was in new york i had a great time i always love going to see my family i come back here and i get depressed immediately so i just been running non-stop let's get into that let's start talking running kyle you went out on a bike ride the other day that was cool you know i saw that you did one mile on a bike i was testing it out making sure the bike worked a 12 minute ride in logged it on strava yep i give you kudos for it preach look People say new year, new me, 24, 2024, 2024. This is going to be our year. It's Kobe year. It's what? Oh shit, Kobe, Kobe year. It's Kobe year? Yeah. Kobe Bryant. Yeah, but no, that's... He's number 24. Okay. And number eight. My opinion's different. I think we're going to be running into a lot of... <laughs> Negativity. A lot of negative stuff. Dude, I think we're going to get... We started off with the earthquake in Japan. Tsunamis. Government corruption, world wars, studios and floods, uh, black mold that comes. Fucking, there's a lot of bad shit that could happen. We get hit by Are an asteroid. Right now? So many bad things can happen. Celebrity deaths. You know when they post people on Instagram and you see their face first, you're like, no fucking way. And sometimes they're not dead. Sometimes it's just like they're just announcing something about them. Who gives a shit? But yeah, get ready for all that shit, you know? Get ready to see celebrities randomly die and you're like, no way that guy died. You know? Cause that's what that's what life is now you know you just hear about shit you just stay in your house and you fucking hear about stuff there's too many things to watch on netflix we don't know what to do with our lives just who did what when you're in la you know oh you see nelk had fucking jeffrey epstein on the podcast oh what, what are we doing who do we have on just you by yourself get mad at your patreon audience i don't know guys get on that level cuz Look, you start out negative like me and you don't expect much and then anything that happens that's good, you really appreciate. So take that from this. Yeah, we're all going to die. You know, we're all decomposing slowly and, you know, all your problems don't matter. Don't pay your rent. Don't fucking don't worry about it. You know, everything will work itself out. But yeah, Nelka, that's Jeff okay, Epstein. On <laughs> what do we do? Talk about back home. Talk about Mexico. Well... Let's do it in chronological order because I haven't done a podcast since last year. You know, fucking hit that fucking set. Get a get a, uh, a siren for that, Kyle. Where's the laugh track? I feel like I haven't been in here since last year. Timing. One more time. Look, we'll run it back. I feel like I haven't been in here since last year. <laughs> it was funny how many times I fucked that up. I'm fucking up too. Look, I'm a person, you know? I'm just, we're just people in here trying to do our best. Sometimes shit hits the fan in here and we let it ride. We only had one. That was lame. Fucking Tana. She's still here haunting me. Speaking, speaking, speaking about decomposing, Tana, that fucking foot of yours Ugh. is falling off. Her foot is falling off. Can you pull up that, that video that she posted of, that Sweet disgusting baby. video? It looks like she, um, just ripped her whole like half her toe off leave my toe alone how do we have these sound bites <laughs> of do you have an ai sort of device back there kyle guys uh, bath and boys technology we can't disclose get the fuck out of here you just made her say that bath and boys technology we cannot disclose look dude when when the toenail gets to that level it doesn't hurt anymore all the pain has been gone i lost toenails running a marathon before i don't know how tana Ugh, lost true. hers you know but let me see uh and she says, what is she going to do for money now? You know, because she said, I guess she just most of her Dude, that is gross. exclusive <laughs> content is uh, of her feet. feet I just don't, I don't, I don't, is that really what she posts on there? I don't know. You signed up. <laughs> You're making her say these things now. 
This is ridiculous. All right, I got some movie reviews. I, I've been watching a ton of shit, just you know how it is. Laying low, better off alone by myself, just watching movies, wishing that I had a, a life partner to watch those movies with. But you know, we're doing the dating show. The, the fucking email is out of control. I'm seeing PDFs that are, I'm about to start hiring people because their design work is really, really good. Still haven't responded to any. So if you haven't got a reply, don't worry about it because um, I can't be the one that picks. I feel like that's already part of the show. Partner. I think it'll be Oscar or I mean, Oscar don't want to go through fucking that many emails, but it is pretty funny. Like the shit that these girls are saying in these emails is funny. I just glance at them, you know? Yeah, there was a girl that sent like a whole pitch deck that looked exactly like what we send brands. Yeah. With the, with the same background and everything. I know. She killed that one. But let's not give too many details because I don't know. I don't want her knowing that we've seen that one and, and she's in the running. You know, Has there been like a jaw dropping one yet where you're like, wow, this takes a kick on everything I've seen? That one was a really good one. She designed it really well. But it's also like, you know, if you bring some sort of skill to the table, then you're already, you know, moving up the charts. If it's just people, some girls will just be like sex question mark. And that shit's just I don't want to fucking not, that's not the type of girl that I, I need in my life or I want anything to do with sex question mark that's probably why that's probably what a girl feels like when a guy walks up to him and says what why don't you smile more you know i will take them <laughs> you know i don't need anybody here because we have so much recorded sound by, you, unless these are new that you guys are inventing we phased they out mike and tana me. and steven <laughs> we don't need anyone anymore we'll just make up shit for them to say perfect that's how this show should be fucking run. I want to talk about these movies that I've been watching. I watched this one about Y2K, and then I watched that Saltburn movie. Have you seen it, Oscar? No. Do you plan on watching it? I heard it starts off really slow, and it starts off. It starts off gay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. It started off a little too gay for me. I watched about maybe five minutes of it. And then I'm not saying that in a bad way. Like I've watched gay movies before and like the, what's the one call me by your name? Like I, I like that movie and then it fucks me up afterwards. I start thinking that I'm gay and then I got to like, you know, like fucking, I got to get out of it. And then I just see one of you guys and I'm like, hey, fucking, what was I thinking? You know? What? You, nothing. This is why I don't want to do live gay. episodes. <laughs> I, I see this is why i wish i, I let's fu fuck this whole idea you know i didn't want to enjoy the movie too much because i live through movies you know like i'll watch a movie and i they inspire my life they change who i am i watched blow when i was 14 did it i fucking went and s smuggled drugs and went to jail for it Just multiple times over and over again so now if i watch this movie it scares me that it'll turn me gay i know that can't happen but what if there is a little bit of gayness in me that it pulled out? Why do I like this movie? Why am I enjoying it so much? Regardless, I saw a bunch of people talking about it gay. and I was like, whatever, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give it a shot. You know, what's the worst that could happen? It's f fucking, <laughs> I end up fucking a guy after it. Well, that. <laughs> Please somebody clip that. Please somebody clip that. That's the end fucking a guy after. This movie, you know, it felt like a really good, old school classic but it's it's a new movie with this kid uh his name's oliver in the movie i don't know what his real name is he's he's a weird looking guy but he's so there's something about him that makes him so cool and the ending is insane i'm not going to spoil anything for anybody but this one thing i will spoil there's no gay or straight in the movie it's just like everything's fair game everybody's gay and straight at the same time it's nuts like you don't know People just don't acknowledge it. Like if a guy walks up to you and just starts fucking jerking you off, he just grabs your dick and jerks you off. You just have to let it ride in the in that Dream. world, in the salt burn Dream. world. That's He's that's dead. what you have to do. So, now I'm gay and straight. Now I guess I'm yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm gay. Was that me? <laughs> yeah. Play that again. Now I'm gay and straight. Now I'm gay and straight. Well, now you got it for real. But I guess you already had it. AI is fucking fucking us up. Um, 
Yeah, so that's it for my movie review. <laughs> Just, you're gay. You're homophobic. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying that I'm homophobic at all. No, that's. I, know, I, that was I, I was just going into it. like. I'm actually saying the opposite. I was scared that I'm gonna be. I'm gonna like this gay stuff too much. You know. So did you finish watching an episode? I watched the whole movie and I fucking. He, at the end, he's naked and dancing. And I'm like, this guy's a fucking man. I can't believe he did. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil anything. Wait, this is Saltburn or is this? This is Saltburn. Yeah. Wait. What the fuck, Kyle? I started thinking no, about the you show. Said, I was you said two. Recently. You said two. Two different movies. They're very different. One of them was a Y2K documentary. Oh yeah, you said that. And then one of them was. A fucking fantasy world where just everybody just jerks each other off and it's all so it's all good. Okay. Um, but yeah, they're both out now and you can watch them after this uh podcast. You didn't see Iron Claw yet, right? No, I didn't see that one. That one's but, good. But um I watched this Y two K one and it made me laugh a lot yeah. about this world we live in. Because remember you like you were around that time, Oscar where like the internet yeah had been around for like while we were kids we all shared one computer in the house i don't even know if you had you know i want to assume <laughs> i did have a computer you got a computer okay i don't even uh, like i picture you growing up just, did you have a computer because you don't know how to use one at all um yeah i had a computer one of those dial-up ones it was my dad's but i would you know it was my family so we had a family computer and there was this thing that was going to happen that it reminded me so much of COVID because everybody was all scared that they were all gonna die and they were like uh, like going to supermarkets and buying all this shit. And the thing was, it was just a glitch. When they made computers, they didn't have, they didn't expect it to go into the year 2000 or something. So like when it, it when it hits- COVID. After like 999 it like- Yeah, it goes back to, like to 1901. That's what it goes back to. And then we lose everything, the fucking, Banks have no credit data anymore. Nothing. Everything. The just ev the toasters don't work anymore. People just thought that everything was fucked, and it wasn't. It was fine. You know, I I know it's not the same as COVID because like a million people died. I gotta. I can't do live shows. You know, this is just. Or we just got to say fuck having sponsors. You know, because I just compared a thing that killed nobody and nothing. Two. No, it, it, you mean in the sense of like, uh, it, it's more like 2012, how like the world was supposed to end? People being scared, yeah. People people were really, really scared about this this one little glitch. The government was involved. You had the president talking about it. It's just crazy to go back and see and see where we're at now doing the same shit. The main thing I took away from the the movie was I miss those days when we had no phones. But I wish we had Strava so I could log my runs. Like I wouldn't want to run without having my Garmin watch and a and a, this is not sponsored by the way. This is just. But imagine a world without Strava. Would you just be like marking it on like a whiteboard or like? I'd just be your running friends? like Forrest Gump. I'd grow a long beard and just run across the country. I wouldn't. But I wouldn't have any the no data. Aspect? I wouldn't have my heart rate logged on it. I wouldn't know the the level of fitness. Am I improving? Am I am I uh, getting out of my prime i worry about these things I, i'm 34 now we talked about this the other day i said look kyle i'm not getting younger i might be putting up personal records on strava you guys probably been seeing my fucking shit lighting up like a christmas tree but i don't know what's gotten into me you know it's just this is what happens the run and talk right that's where you guys tune out what <laughs> when i start talking about running so i didn't <laughs> I want to talk about running my I want, question what? I just like started talking <laughs> about how cool your scores are. I was just like, okay, imagine a world where there was no Strava in 2004 or whatever. What would you be doing to like replace that fix you have? Would you be just like logging it on a whiteboard and showing it off with your friends? No, it's not that. I'm saying like, like just gonna have a spreadsheet. Yeah, we walk out a little notebook. Sorry. Just everybody's just living through it now. They live through it. They're doing it right now. But this show is actually a good show. You should watch. It'll actually teach you about this stuff and make you think. You know, Jeff FM makes you think. That's that's why people come back to it. You know, it gets you thinking about these topics. You know, even just TV, how there used to be a TV that you would flip through the channels and you all watch the same thing at the same time. 
And it's not really like that anymore. Like maybe there's this new, like a movie will be popular that everybody's kind of watching in like the same month and they're all talking about it. But there's no more of that, oh, we're all watching this new episode that just came out at the same time, that feeling, you know? And that's why I want to do these shows live because I want to be talking about shit as it's coming out and everybody's here together and it just feels more real, you know? But also I'm scared that I'm going to say, uh, that I think I might turn gay uh, if I watch this movie and shit like that. So that's why we're testing it on Patreon here first. And we'll do some and then we'll see how uh, things go. Yeah. But main thing is there's too many options of shit to watch. When you wa go on Netflix, there's like too many fucking bullshit things and everything sucks now. I used to be happy just turning on the TV and starting in the middle of a movie that's already on and you just start watching it, you know? You waste so much time thinking, what, what should I give my time to? So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just grateful that you guys give me your time for the time being, you know, until you guys don't care anymore. And then I'll have to go back to Mexico. Just because we're on the same, like, kind of topic, do you feel that MySpace was a better social media platform than what we have now? Just because I think it's it was better just because you could like have more individuality and like make your own like page look however you want. Now I feel like everything just looks the same. Like every app looks the same. Okay. I see what you're saying. Like the top eight, like you missed the top eight friends that they had. That yeah. was a crazy thing we used to do. Yeah. And then you were just like, you were just like, uh, if you were mad at somebody, you would just like move them take down. Take them the out of your top eight. Like right now, Steve and I would take out my top eight, you know, he would be out of it, but for a week and then, you know, like hopefully nobody would notice and then he'd just be back in it, you know? Um, but no, I should address the Steven stuff since all you guys are so nice. <laughs> everybody's dying to know in here what, what our relationship is like right now. Everything's fine. He wants to not do the show for a little bit because it's, it's stressful. He wants to work on his own YouTube channel. So, um, keep an eye out. Steven's vids. That kid's got talent, you know, and I believe in him. So sometimes if you love something, you got to let it go. Until he comes back in two weeks. <laughs> and he's like, no, it's fine, guys. You know, just be nice to him in the comments. He just got drunk. That's it. Like, it's not like he's a real bad person. It's not like he was actually being a real piece of shit when he was sober. That's a piece of shit, you know. Steven just got a little too fucked up on a live show. So it is what it is. But look, we started the show with a song, Better Off Alone. And that's... That's what I'm going for this year, you know? The only guy I could count on is this guy right here and the, and those two, but it fucks up my speech if I'm like, add, including you guys. Have you ever thought about diving into the world of microdosing? Vaya's delicious guava berry low dose gummies offer a perfect 12 to one ratio. 12 to one ratio. Are you an athlete and you're looking to recover? Sugar Sean's got his own and he's the UFC Bantamweight champ. Microdosing has never been this delicious. If you're interested in nationwide shipping with fully legal ingredients, check out Vi to learn more. Oh shit. What the fuck is this? You made it. Wow, dude, you would have loved what we were just talking about. <laughs> Man, we got the weatherman here in studio. Did you just did you just walk in the house and come right in or did you listen for a little to see where we were? Uh, I was listening for a second. Of course you did, you fucking creep. Well, no, I was asking Kyle, should I just walk in? I didn't want to fuck anything up because you know i could snap at any second in here yeah you know i saw the clip yeah that clip yeah i think that was part of the the problem was that clip went too viral and everybody I think saw it's that most viral clip i know i think you need to just start freaking <laughs> get the, the fuck. fuck out get the fuck out ryan you need to start freaking out on people more <laughs> get more views on the clip channel yeah hey oscar hey kyle hey you like my hat yeah it's all right Thanks. We were just talking about that movie Salt Burn. Have you seen it? Yeah, when he fucks did the dirt. Did you like it? Yeah, I like the of part where he, he fucks the dirt. Oh, of course he did. Yeah, where he fucks the dude. That part was dope. I love that part. I love the part where he the, he goes in the bathtub and he's licking up all the cum from the guy. Yeah. <laughs> and he fucks the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was gay after. I really? thought it, I thought I was like, wait, why do I like this movie so much? You know, I shouldn't like this. Have you seen Poor Things? No. That movie is fucking good. It's brand new. It's in theaters. I feel like this shit would happen with you too because you get too deep into characters where you're like, like that time we went to London and you started talking to us with a British accent. Remember? And we were like, bro, with like, 
The like, fuck are you doing? I would lie that my dad is dead? Yeah. <laughs> you think that I would do that? Uh, no, I was saying, like, <laughs> you would just watch that movie and that kid, the like, the lead, yeah. the Oliver, whatever his name is, uh, what's his, what's the guy's name? Because he's a really know. good actor. He'll probably win an Oscar for this. Whenever you watch a movie and somebody's so cool, you want to be like them, right? Exactly. So then you just start fucking everyone. Like, you just, you become... Just like anytime you get into some confrontation or something, you right. just grab the guy's dick and start jerking it. But off. I didn't, I didn't want, I didn't like it enough to be like, I want to be that guy. Oh, you didn't think it was that good? I thought it was fine. I don't know if it deserves like the hype it's getting. In my opinion, honestly, I mean that's kind of a hot take, but I feel like it's kind of like, I don't know. People are comparing it to like modern day American Psycho, and I'm like, I at least that had a good ending. Like American Psycho was great the whole time until. It ended. Yeah. This one, you got to watch it all the way through because in the beginning, I turned it off. Murder in the Everybody's dance saying floor. I'm bisexual in this uh, chat right now. I, this is not the narrative I'm trying to spread. I thought for a second, if I watch this movie and I enjoy it too much, it might it might make me realize that I'm gay, you know? And then I thought about mm-hmm. having sex with a man and I was like, absolutely not. Ugh. You, you know, looking at you right bi. now, that you would be so gross, you know? Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, what's going on with you? What's new? <laughs> what's new? No, not- <laughs> <laughs> new year, new me. <laughs> I'm gay now. <laughs> Just gay now. That's what I'm doing now. Change these to rainbows. That'd be sick. A whole yeah. new rebrand. Change them out. Swap them out. Hire some of Tana's people. Get rid of us. Yeah. Get a bunch of uh, transgender boys. A transgender. Um, that's not going to work. That's what- <laughs> <laughs> bathroom boys <clears throat> Are you, can, don't rip it off the wall bathroom girls I guess it would yeah. be yeah but uh, what's new with me uh, mm-hmm. I've been running every day oh my god I bet you have <laughs> I bet uh, you been. would love to come in here and fucking talk about that and mock me no I have been what do you mean you've been running a mile a day at least You've been doing a mile a day, like that's your news resolution? Yeah, at least every day this year. I'm going to try and clock 500 miles. That's the goal. Really? By the end of the year. Damn. I clocked it over 1,000 last year. Over <laughs> a 1,000. No big deal. I wasn't going to bring it up, but since you're talking about it. Yeah, you know? con- well, congrats. Thanks, but I've been doing it for a long time. If you do 500 yeah. miles this year, I'll, I'll be very impressed. You'll I'll give, give you me 500 dollars uh, 500 yeah. Sweet. You, okay. I'll but do But you it. better fucking log that all. I, I want to see proof. I don't want to see no manually inputted runs. Like you I'm better get that six distance. Today. I mean, not today. Six so far. Since this year started. Yeah, six. six miles. Uh-huh. So only 494 to go. Yep. That's light. That's nothing. Um, Ryan, you're looking sexy. Text me back. I miss you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't tell what's real or what's not anymore. This oh, oh, that was AI shit, bro. I'm telling Oscar you, the world. Did. This is the last. I was, I was so this, confused. This is the last of society. We're fucked. How, so many things are going to happen. We're getting scammed right now. Yeah. If they good. if they said, look, we need money right now. Otherwise, Tan is going to fucking get her head chopped off or some shit. I would send them and Tana's in there like send the money send the money they fucking they're gonna you know I would send money right now soon you can just make a new episode without even being here or anybody being here you can just you'll be able to type in make a new Jeff FM episode and you can just upload that you know what I mean we're like it's over yeah it's over I can do that now that's what we can also that wasn't even me (laughs) 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 fuck this is really bad. You guys all think this is a joke, but we're fucked. Yeah. What are your goals this year? You already talk about this? I'm just going to start building a bunker, like a survival bunker. Yeah. And just plan on on uh, <laughs> it's an election the podcast year. out of there. You think they're going to make another disease? Another disease, riots again, streets fucking lit up on fire there's aliens um, in miami inflation aliens aliens in miami aliens in miami yeah but that's n- the least of our worries you know yeah asteroids hitting us i heard there's one coming cody really? told me oh really that's yeah. a good source yeah 
<laughs> that's my astronomy segment. <laughs> <laughs> that's your that's your astronomer. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. There's a fucking Cody has a buddy pass. To fly <laughs> to it. <laughs> Meteorite coming. Oh man, I got caught. Look, this is good. This is why I like having the chat. And then um, I just did it for the fans. I would send money right now. Like when I got scammed by that Sophia girl. Remember when I just gave that girl my credit card mm. and she was like scamming everyone. She said she was pregnant with Jack Harlow's baby. Wonder what happened to her. Rich, didn't, didn't they want to make a documentary about her? Yeah, yeah, they interviewed me for it. Or I said, no, I don't want to do it. Because I, I don't want to be known for that. Here's the news. A lost asteroid could hit Earth this year, but the chances are small. There's still chances. But that's like, but that's literally just saying that. Let like, me ask you something. When when you gamble, are you lucky? Yeah. You are? Yes. Well, I'm not. I'm, I'm very unlucky. So... Sorry. I'd bet those chances are that that asteroid's hitting us this year. Are we going higher Soon. or lower? Soon. Odds? I'm going to say like that they're... More or less. Oh, like on prize picks? Yeah. That asteroid hits us? Honestly, betting the less is probably the smarter way to go because it's more probable. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more probable that it's less likely to hit us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I would bet the I would bet the less. I take the under on asteroid ending. But I'm hoping humanity. for the over secretly. Really? I I actually was in a situation like that the other night because I've been playing fantasy sports because I got like you know I got into it because the sponsor. I and, I've been doing it. A lot of fun. No way. Yeah, I've been doing it for months. This seems like a fake, like set up scripted ad to segue into. <laughs> no, I've been doing I've been doing it for months. You've been playing fantasy sports. Yeah, it's true. What the fuck do you know about sports? Football. You're like a, th- I'm a you're like huge, a theater nerd. I'm you're, a huge NFL guy. I've never heard you say one word about. You don't ask. <laughs> That's because you don't <laughs> name. You don't, you don't watch name that three NFL. quarterbacks. Three right quarterbacks: now. CJ Shroud. Uh, Even that's impressive. That's enough. I, I like right. that's good enough. Okay. I said Patrick Mahomes. I called him Austin Mahomes. In a, in a, <laughs> how, how'd you let that slide into that I don't sponsor? Watch football? I don't know. I said some pop singer that fell off. In, uh, I, said no, I think some, Austin Mahomes is his little brother. Nope. What's his brother's name? Uh, what is that fucker's name? Does Jackson. He, Jackson. Yeah. Jackson Mahomes. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Yeah. I sent you a text. Remember that text I sent? I was like, I can't believe Blank got signed to Blank. You were being serious? I thought you were being sarcastic. Like just. Like, <laughs> no, I was like mind blown. I was like, what the fuck's going on? But you always send me random, like, you send me like Happy New Year texts and shit like that. Yeah, that's serious too, though. <laughs> yeah, but that's. <laughs> you can't expect me to respond to that. Like, I right. didn't, that's why I didn't send you Merry Christmas or Happy New Year this year. I don't want to bug you. Yeah, but you sent me that bullshit text that was real. Yeah. Wow. It's a crazy thing playing those fantasy bets. It's ridiculously hard to get all of them. Mm-hmm. I'm in one right now as we speak. Is it all you're thinking about? A little bit. I'm three for five right now. We got, we got to change more. this weather segment to a sports segment, I think. Okay. And then we could just give people picks, you know, let people <laughs> g- give them our picks. <laughs> yeah. This is but, Ryan Leader's five picks this week. But, but speaking about like, you know, I bet that I bet that I like I was joking that I want the asteroid to hit us. But I made a bet, and you know that guy, the Serbian guy, uh, Jovic, the Joker? Yeah. He's the guy I bet on every time because I know he's yeah. always going to pass the ball. He's, like, so humble. He just passes it to everybody, he, and he's the best in the – he's the best basketball player in the world. Did you see his half-court shot yeah. last night? So I had money on him to get an assist. I just needed him to get an assist, and he fucking – Hits a three pointer from half court and it just three seconds left and hits a game winning shot and I yeah. lost money I lost in that moment two thousand dollars but I was like I don't give a fuck <laughs> I'm fucking you know what I'm so happy for him yeah but it wasn't like I, it was my money that I lost I just almost was about to win it so in my mind I was like this is a lock he's gonna oh, pass that okay okay you didn't lose two thousand dollars you lost the chance of winning two thousand yeah yeah, okay. yeah yeah I didn't bet two thousand yeah. on it you know, I insane. just do a little twenty dollar five ten yeah. fifteen you know. What do you guys think about this sports talk, huh? Do you like it <laughs> over here? Cool. You want to talk about you want to talk about Epstein? Predominantly female audience. We're just like talking sports bets. We're like. giving you picks. We're teaching you guys how to get rich quick over here on Jeff FM That's, Live. People who aren't into sports and want to get into sports just gamble and you'll get into sports. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. I I'm did, watching games and I'm like, I fucking. I want to go to basketball games and sit half court like Timothy Shamblet, whatever the yeah. fuck. He, I want to do shit like that now because and have my bets, my prize picks. <laughs> you know the commercial? What are you doing over there, bro? I'm locking in my prize picks. Leave yeah. me alone. You know? You should just ask one of those companies to send you to a game. 
It's a good UFC idea. 300? UFC 300. Mm-hmm. That's where I should be betting. But that's so random fighting that you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Like I know Nikola Jovic is going to pass the ball and fucking get at least, not, at least 10 times. Yeah. yeah. So I'm loving that stuff, but I'm getting a little carried away. I need to get back to work here and focus on the goal that is, you know, doing this shit alone. I started this show off, Better Off Alone was the song I was playing. You know that house music song? Mm-mm. Hit it, Kyle. Just give him a taste. He'll he'll get it just from. Stop it. Stop it. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, I know that song. Yeah. I didn't know it was titled that. Well, now you do. I was on a run the other day and it came on shuffle and I was running and I was like, you know what? I am. I am better off alone. And that's why <laughs> get the fuck out. Get the fuck out yeah. of here. Okay. I look like my dad in that clip. Really? Yeah. Brought back mm-hmm. memories. Of you getting yelled at by your own dad? Yeah. Yeah. Were you like, damn, fuck that. I've been watching Sopranos like crazy. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised you didn't come here with an Italian accent. After watching that clip, I thought you were going to like go into the kitchen, eat a bunch of gabagool, and then have a panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> Fall down. <laughs> the like, ducks. And you're like, I did nothing. The ducks left. Yeah. Why'd the ducks leave? Steven's the ducks. Steven's if you your don't ducks. Get it, if you don't get it yet. Steven's your ducks. Yeah. Damn. So that's another thing you guys haven't watched that we'll, we will talk about for the rest of. <laughs> I want to do a segment where I give like some homework to do, like say watch the whole season of Sopranos in one week because that's what we're going to talk about in the next episode. <laughs> and we'll just talk about a deep dive Sopranos. I would love to do that. Later. I wish, you know what I wish? I wish this show was coming out right now because you know how like shows and movies come out and you see memes of them like crazy. I wish that Sopranos was coming out right now and memes and it was the popular thing that everybody was talking about. But like the internet wasn't even really a thing. What the fuck? Did he just bring up our conversation that we were having before? This is like a, how long are you outside that door? <laughs> I really, we minutes. just talked about Y2K, too many things on streaming platforms. We can't figure out what to watch. There's only thing that's good is Jeff FM right now. And we talked about what you're saying right now. We, we missed days before the internet, but you don't even know what that was. Cause you're, a, he specifically said that he wishes the Sopranos. Was I was saying for memes. Yeah. I would just wish the Sopranos would well, come out now. It's and very it was loosely the, related, but I see the connection Jeff. Well, I'm thinking like, how you could just watch a whole season now you know you don't yeah. have to, you don't have to wait then you wish it was that right now well but right you n- could watch sopranos all fucking night and then you wake up the next day like i went to bed at 6 a.m well there's the curse coming out weekly right now i love that yeah show. the streaming platforms still they still do it kind mm-hmm. of like the weekly thing yeah the curse is awesome yeah the curse is a really good i'm on edge watching that shit I love how it's kind of shitting on wokeness a little bit. Sorry, but it kind of is. So, don't be sorry for it. It is. It's you like, know, it makes fun I'm of fucking ten percent gay. I found out really? this episode. You know, until you walked in, and then I said, absolutely not. I would never. But I wouldn't being, even want to fucking. You don't have to fuck all guys. You know, in the in that world, the saltburn world, you can't say any, you have to. You can't say no to anybody. No, dude comes up, starts making out. You got to make out back. <laughs> That's the world. You watch the movie. <laughs> Did anybody ever stop somebody? Like, oh, yo, yo, no, uh, I'm, I'm not gay, bro. You know, like you just have to go along with it. I don't. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Everybody. He hooked up with a girl and then goes like, yeah. I guess everyone's bi. Yeah, everyone's bi in that world. Yeah. I didn't get if he wanted to f- like fuck him or be him. And then at the end, I still didn't understand like what the goal was. He just wanted the house. Was it? Did, did he know who he was the whole time? Did he just want the house? You the didn't see time? the end. I, I did I, see I, the end. Well, the end. He had. I was wondering why. Why do I like this gay movie so much? There's, <laughs> there's something wrong with me. I mean, not, not wrong with me, but just like I'm not. I'm not how I thought I was. Tough guy. I want to watch Sopranos. Like that's what I'm looking for. Another show like that. Really, you know, like I'm enjoying this just as much. But also Sopranos isn't even like a tough guy show. It, it's talking about why you shouldn't pretend to be a tough guy. The whole show is about. Hey, Tony's, not pre- Tony's not pretending. Tony fucking gets his hands dirty. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. I don't know. Christopher fucking a mass murderer. He's just killing everybody who's pretending to be a tough guy. These guys are killing every episode. There's a death. Yeah. Jeff, have you watched Barry? Yeah. I love okay. that show too. I just started watching that last time we watched episode three tonight. And I was like, oh, I feel like Jeff looked like this a hitman trying to be an actor. Yeah, I love that one. I, I, I kind of like got mad when it came out because I had an idea to do something like that. And it was like very close to it. So I was like, fuck. 
he did it and they did it so good mm. they did it better than i would have if i had, had attempted at that time with the resources i had which was just me and oscar and a fucking add we wouldn't have been able to pull off barry that major production and no writers but it is what it is you know we're just winging it over here do you have any narrative thing that you want to make this year uh like fictional narrative yeah no uh not fictional yeah i want to go do investigative journalism i want to do like these really really i want to go places that mike doesn't want to go <laughs> you know like mike travels to these nice places yeah and he's like look we got this this uh house on airbnb was eight thousand dollars and you know uh, you want to go to places where you're like we got this house on airbnb it's twelve dollars no i want to go to places and be like there is no airbnb <laughs> yeah there are no i want to like she oh okay like why like the worst places dangerous you know you want to put yourself in danger i mean yeah i want to live my life i want to get out there and and see the world new environment Mm. yeah like travel to places even some not all of them have to be crime ones like i just did but that was the first one that i did because that's what i know and i feel like i could you know really tell that story well uh, I also just want to go to Antarctica because it looks cool and there's orcas there that I'm interested in. We got to get over the ice wall. Do yeah. the ice wall. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not like a trip that Mike would want to go on, you know, because it's not warm. There's no girls, you know. No burgers. No burgers. No, no burgers, no. No LP. And if you take a piss, <laughs> yeah, no Logan. The Logan want to go there. I feel like his fucking skin would get all Fuck burnt up all red. Logan. Um, Are you serious right now? But yeah, I want to go there. I, I want to. too much. That's my goal for this year too. So that's not even uh, put myself in danger. Maybe I'll get too cold. Maybe I'll come back with a little stuffy nose. You know. <laughs> but anything can happen in these where it's real shit. We're we're starting out with an idea. Get fucked up by a seal. <laughs> you could get arrested. I want to make it trying to get arrested in Antarctica because I mean, how funny hiding? would it, how funny would it be if Cody got locked up at AA? Uh, DC, uh, Antarctica Detention Center. <laughs> the you know, like, like I just made up a random name of a jail. Do they do they have a jail? That's what I asked. I, I was like, where do, what do they do if somebody's just fucking going nuts in Antarctica? You know, just say there's like Christopher from Sopranos well, I, is living in Antarctica. I'm pretty and, sure Antarctica is split up amongst countries. Like certain countries own certain parts of it. It's a continent, and part of it's like Chile, I think. But still, like it's it's. <laughs> What? It's a continent and part of it's Chile? I, oh, oh, Chile the country. Yeah. I thought you were just saying. I thought you were just, <laughs> a, like, a, a little, you were just saying, it's a continent, it's kind of chilly, and I was like, yeah, man. Yeah, some, some parts is. are a little chilly. Some parts, yeah. I mean, it's all ice. The whole yeah. thing's ice. There's only 2% of it that's not ice, and that's in the summer months. So summer months are now. We better get going. There's cruises and shit that you could go on for like... Thirty thousand dollars, but there's also ones that you can go on for like five thousand. But that's like where Jack was in the Titanic, you know, when he was down underneath. But yeah. you could still meet a rose if you go up top and find, you know, this girl that's uh-huh, rich and has generations of wealth and is trying to kill herself still, and you could talk her out of it. Imagine that happens. You never know with these documentaries. That's Dude, you uh, can just buy it to get a girl to Antarctica. Yeah, but they're so expensive. Yeah, but it's not illegal. I'm not saying I'm gonna sneak into Antarctica. I'm gonna buy the ticket, but I'm. And then I know I'm gonna rules. like. Look, if I was going by myself to Antarctica, fuck it, twenty G's. I would get the like premium economy on on the cruise that goes there. But now I got to bring Kyle. I got to bring fucking you probably now. Cody has to come because he would just be so funny seeing the penguin. You know, yo, look at that fucking penguin, bro. I'm gonna steal that shit. And put, I'm bringing that shit home, dog. And it would be like, Cody, you can't take the penguin. You know. You gotta leave that shit here. You can't even piss on the snow. You get arrested. Really? You get, you get like t- there, there's no human waste. Every, all the piss and the shit that comes from humans, they package up and they ship it off in a plane to South Africa. I've been watching documentaries, dog. I know my fucking shit. I think what? we like break the case on the ice wall. See if we can fly a drone over it. Chinese drone. Uh yeah, that'd be great. Why? Why can't you piss and shit on Antarctica? Because they want to keep it pure. They don't want humans fucking it up. It's the only continent that hasn't been fucked up by humans yet. Damn. There might be shit under that ice, you know? Like, we might go... that. You know, we, we might find some shit. 
Imagine that, Mr. Beast. Well, well, look at what we fucking found in Antarctica. You know, Mr. Beast will be fucking losing sleep at night. He's like, ah, oh, this is fucking, you know, this Jeff FM crew, man. They started doing this Damn, stuff. Damn, you have and, to log your pees and, and pisses in a database. That's the shit I'm trying to do this year. <laughs> that is literally. Yeah. It's the shit you're trying to do. Log everything. My runs, my workouts, <laughs> Java for piss, weightlifting, piss. one piss, two shits. Or it would it probably be one one shit, three pisses or something like that? Yeah. You know? Um you're, you're poop light, I would guess. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I don't eat much. Just yeah. only only candy. Um it probably looks like rabbit shit when you do. Anyways. Like don't. pellets. Yeah, yeah. It kinda does. <laughs> it kinda does. What, what else? else? What else? Where do, where do you else do you want to go? Like Antarctica. I'm gonna go back to Colombia. Uh, get into the cocaine. The drug. Yeah. Um. Pa- where Pablo Escobar's money is potentially buried. Maybe digs. Get some excavators, and you know that'll be fun. You make some jokes about it. About the excavator. Look at all the way. I'll never. I'll never again, man. Yeah. New year, new me. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, bro. <laughs> um. Let's visit the suicide forest. <laughs> Let's do it, bro. That's it. That's actually a good idea. That's where he'd go. But not to do that same video, but like just <laughs> just go there and fucking. Let's find see the wh- exact tree that he filmed that. No, in all no, 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 no. See, this is the stuff that we're, we're gonna get in trouble. Uh, what uh, about uh, Epstein Island? We could do Epstein Island, but some kid did it already. It was like it was kind of shitty how he did it, and so there was like nothing really there because it's all uh, taken over. Somebody else owns it now, and they there's no like crimes going on there so what the fuck we just want to go on a vacation kyle just want to get some sun no i want to fucking break into one of the buildings so let's Ten- go to antarctica Ten- and said, well, get yeah, some- antarctica's cool too tennis said she got invited to epstein island like uh recently by the new owners what why because they is they, there proof of that uh she, i mean she said it on a podcast so it's so There's it's very proof Wow. It's evidence. She's been. <laughs> she said it on a podcast. She's, she's on the list. It's evidence now. <laughs> she just got list. in last minute. Like, oh, there's, this is popular in the news right now. <laughs> I got to get it on this fucking list. Damn. North Korea. Uh, that's one thing I said too. That's Breaking a, that's, into North Korea? Yeah, this is all stuff that we've talked about on the show. Uh, North Korea. We said Nelk was going to do it first. That, what? That's why I think not. Oscar made that joke or something. I think it was yeah. the oh. North Central Island. We'll go there too. We'll go see the fucking <laughs> the people that'll kill us. Yeah, yeah, spears right through our heart the second we get there. But we're just dodging them. No, no, chill, chill. Bring a gun. Look, we brought you this fish, <laughs> and they'll like go nuts over a fish, you know. Or or maybe we'll bring them like a bring a machine gun. <laughs> a machine gun. <laughs> the be... second they throw a spear, shoot one of them a thousand times. You want to like, murder somebody on a YouTube and video? Then just be like, <laughs> and then just be like, hey, hey, no <laughs> more spears. You see what we have? This yeah, is, this is like the atomic bomb. Yeah, to you guys. yeah, yeah, yeah. Scare them so they don't fucking fuck around with those spears. Let us chill. Just kill one of them. Make yeah. an example. Make an example. Look, we're good people. <laughs> we're, we just needed to take out that one guy to fucking show you that to have a, to have this talk. We're that, good people. This we had to do this one. <laughs> yeah, you understand. You didn't give us a fucking choice. We had to take one of your guys. But look, now we're cool. You know, now we're good people. <laughs> now we can. And we brought you this fish. We'll teach them how to make s'mores. I bet they've never had a s'more. They go crazy. Damn. Yeah. They Very don't even nice. have like, like, like chocolate bars. Bring and them stuff. McDonald's. Just hand out McDoubles. Give them Prime. Bring <laughs> them that AI technology and have them start. We'll start saying their language and things that they never said, and that we'll just start saying them. They'll think we're God. <laughs> <laughs> the gods have appeared. They've come back. Twenty twenty four was the year. Let's wrap. Let's wrap a drone in just a thousand LED lights. Make it luminous and attach an AI voice to it, so that it just looks like this floating, talking orb. And then trick them into thinking that's God. I tricked an indigenous <laughs> island into thinking I'm God. That's a solid title. I'm thinking, see, I'm reverse engineering like Mr. B style. I've been watching videos on that too. How is he so successful? Doesn't make sense, you know? Why does he get a million, a hundred million views and Ryan doesn't? Yeah. You know, Ryan's funnier, I think. You know? Well, but he's not like comedy. He's like... But it's it's strategy. <laughs> it's, the, it's, it's the thumbnails, you know? It's, you got to think that title thumbnail first. So there we go. Yeah. I tricked an entire indigenous island into thinking I am <laughs> the God. Yeah. To think it, to I'm worship the return of Christ. Me. I'm their messiah. 
and then it's like you're in a Jesus rub. I should have sounded because the whole them. Bible came from just like Jesus was able to pull off a couple miracles, you know, and he yeah. got he got people to like, oh damn, he just turned this water into wine. Dude, imagine if fucking David Blaine was there. Oh, David Blaine would be Jesus. Yeah. Everybody would be praying to David Blaine right now if David Blaine was around back then. Who's to say Christ wasn't just a crazy magician? Don't start with that blasphemy stuff in here. <laughs> okay. All right. This is going to... It's going to get bad. It's going to get bad, yeah. No, it, it, that's not... David Blaine's not God. All right? <laughs> Neither am I. You don't want to make that video anymore? Blasphemy. No, I still want to make it. Okay. We'll figure the title. We'll, we could work on the title, you know? We don't have to come up with it now. What's this... Uh, chat looking like after we've said all these um he is uh annoying oh that's mr beast oh i thought uh, not me too <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> I, i'm, I'm yeah, hoping it's for mr beast <laughs> um ryan could easily be an undercover serial killer you feel like out of everyone you know Personally, who do you think is most likely to turn a serial killer? Cody, without a doubt. <laughs> Are you so serious? Fast. That's yeah. Uh, you you take a guess out of all of us. I know what you're gonna say. What? Me? No. No. You talk too much about it. Like you talk and act like you are a serial. That's right. I can't talk about drug dealing, show it on a YouTube video, and then go back to doing it. So that's why I'm putting this video out. Oscar. Yeah, I could see that one too. Nice type. All right, look, we're going down a dark path. Let's <laughs> let's start answering some questions from the Patreon. I just wanted to say, did you know that serial killers are still at large, like, all the time? They just don't get as many numbers anymore. They get, like, four or five, then they get, get caught. caught. Yeah. Or they don't get caught, we just don't know about them. They're still out there. It's true. Cody could be one of them. Who is the last great? Why is he always on the run? He's in Dubai <laughs> right now. <laughs> Where was he for Christmas? I think he was at the Wall of China. Bro, he's a serial killer. <laughs> what the fuck? Not spending Christmas back with his family, just Wall of China? Oh, no. He was with my family on Christmas okay. and bouncing back and forth. But then he went to, uh, he did like a crazy trip. He's, you know, Cody has that travel more for less business. But yeah, Cody, Cody's uh, enjoying his life, I think. It's either that or he's got to be extremely depressed just traveling, you know? <laughs> living this lavish life have you seen that <laughs> to compensate have you seen the Adam Sandler SNL sketch from forever ago it's like he's doing like for the fans. he's doing like an Italy thing and he's like if yes he he's like a come to Italy advertisement type guy or whatever and he's like if you're sad in your own life coming to Italy will not make you happy he's just like keeps talking about like coming to Italy is awesome but if you're sad and depressed this will not fix you yeah yeah it, i think that. it will actually <laughs> italy did fix my depression when i was there but you also have like family time yeah i did 23 and me uh or my brother did it and i saw his, re his results at christmas because we had christmas at his house now that's our new tradition so what happens things change you know mm -hmm. used to go to my aunt's now I'm not no more sorry aunt pat so what we, are you we go to steven's now um italian like 80% fucking Sicilian straight from the Godfather, the fucking olive fields where, where he falls down and dies. That's what's, where I'm from. What's the 20%? Don't worry about the 20%. What's the 20%? It's fucking other places in Eastern Europe, North, Northern Europe, all around Italy. It's all there's something all in there you countries. don't like. No, nah, there's nothing. There's something in there that you were like, what? I don't want to be that. I wasn't even memorable enough. China. I just focused on You're I'm Chinese. Chinese. I do have sort of Asian eyes, like, but it's not. I don't think I'll Dude, just somebody fucking, told. I'll pull it told, up. Somebody I'll told me up. you were Japanese, like part Japanese when we first yeah, met. Yeah, I'm a fucking uh, gay Japanese <laughs> man. That's what I am. New year, new me. Yeah. I'm a gay Japanese man. <laughs> Jeff Lowkey, Mexican. Honestly, when I was out there in Mexico, they all thought I was Mexican. They come up to me speaking Spanish, and I was speaking it back the best I could. I only know uh, un poquito. What was I going for? Oh, the the fuck! I got the screenshot of my brother's twenty three and me. This is a flex, bro. This is me flexing. You know, I know I don't I don't flex much. Yeah, you know, that's how my mom found her dad. Uh, what ancestry? Oh yeah. Two well, years that's a ago. different. That's a completely different app that we're talking about here. Oh no, it's not ancestry. Comp You're right. 
Yeah. I need to start being nicer to you guys. It's all right. 99.6% European. Oh, okay. Now, okay, I might, have, I might have lied a little about the 80%. What is it? 67% Sicilian. Now, the rest is Eastern European, Northwestern European. Yeah, but there's Broadly specifics. European. There's specifics. What, so, what are the specifics on those? It's all around there. It's like, vague. It's fucking. He is being vague. North, south, <laughs> You're east, not, and not west. The They're not just north, south, Europe. I'm Sicilian. <laughs> yeah. I'm yes. fucking... And what else? Was it like I don't want to say it because we're live. I don't even want to say it. Why? It's, look, it's 3% French and European. You're Fre French? French and German. 3%. I didn't want to say it because. <laughs> what? Because why? To offend the Germans? <laughs> You're a Nazi? I mean, it could be tied to that, yeah. Um, also, French people are fucking... French people are annoying. Fucking stupid Dominicans. Yeah. Leave me alone. Like, if you ask them a question, they're just having a cigarette and they can't be bothered with the stupid Dominican. That's kind of you when we ask questions, though. So I'm French. Shut, shut the fuck up. I'm dealing with <laughs> Not right now. I That's can't. That's a 3%. Give me a cigarette. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you Off just, screen, I, I'm a major change smoker. You just do it differently. Oh. Uh-huh. You know? That 3%'s bugging me, but you know what? Je suis 3% français. Nothing I could do about it. Is that me now speaking French? <laughs> yeah. No way. <laughs> yeah. That's his voice speaking French? Je suis 3% français. That's what you'd like... sound like as a French guy? I, oh. I took French in high school, but we just smoked cigarettes in the class. That's all we learned how to do was fucking smoke cigarettes. I took ASL. What is that, English? American Sign Language. Did you? Mm. Do you remember it? I know how to do all the letters and some signs. I know how to say fuck you, you can't say that word. Oh, really? I'm you know what I should learn? I, I should Sorry. learn Braille because that's like, you know, how blind people read and they say they could read faster than we can read with our eyes just by like touching some shit. Yeah. But how do you find the Braille? Put that's, Braille on the products. Like where, you know, like I, somebody has to be there and be like, here's their fucking Braille, you know, <laughs> just read it for them then. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Like I've always wondered that about bathrooms in new places too. It's like, how are they like? You end up touching a guy's dick. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. blind. I'm looking for the braille. Sorry. Just, is this the men's or the women's? It's so much like, faster to just ask. Is where's the men's? Is this the men's or the women's? Yeah, yeah. It's just probably it's better to do that. Just make them all gender. It's 2024, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's cool. You're sounding woke as fuck, bro. <laughs> I like it. Bienvenido de nuevo a Jeff FM. What was that? How did you speak in Spanish? Bienvenido de nuevo a Jeff FM. Jeff FM. You sound dope. I learned some words like uh, Je m'appelle Jeffrey. That's my name, Jeffrey. Je m'appelle Ryan. Je m'appelle, uh, or uh, I know. Le Chien. Uh, je lotion? suis Le Chien. That means I like the dog. Oh. I like the dog. It sounds like you like lotion. Uh, le Chien? Le Chien. Le, it's uh, masculine. I guess dogs are masculine. Cats are Femme. feminine. Yeah, uh, that's kind of cool how they do that in other languages. So you poco gay. Only Americans, romantic. Americans kind of plain, romantic. you know. Like it's it, we just we words don't have genders, Gen but that's fine. It's so much more simple. American just always been stripping, you know. English. English people. Yeah. Stupid Americans. You probably remember un doit toi or un doit toi. Quatre cinq six sept sept. I took German one. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, And I'll be saying that. Guten Tag, meine Freundin. Um, but 9-11 happened while I was in the um, French class. So my French teacher, that's the only memory I have. Oh. It's her going, oh my God. And she hung up. Listen, kids, everything's fine. And we was like, no, it's not. Somehow it you always. Bitch, tell us what the fuck happened on that phone call. <laughs> Is my mother dead? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow it always comes back to 9-11. For I was in French. That was the only French season I took, or whatever semester that I took was that one. And then I went to Spanish after, and then I just went to drug dealing and haircutting. Congrats! Well, let's get to the questions now because this is fucking. It's probably the worst show we've ever done. Okay. Yeah, look, I feel like I'm losing brain cells. That escalated. Nine eleven. Yeah. Speaking of nine eleven, nine eleven is Jeff's Roman Empire. I guess that's that's a good one. That is true. Speaking of nine eleven and planes. Um, a flight recently from American Airlines in mid-flight, a hole came out of the uh, plane. What? Or whatever. Let me see. 
Oh, shit. Oh, the whole window. Yeah. Yeah. I, those could do that? I would fucking lose my mind. <laughs> oh, and the fucking so things nobody, came down? Yeah, so this happened 30,000 feet in the air. The people that were supposed to have that... Look oh at that, my bro. god, you see the, you see the stars. No, that's oh, that's a city. Yeah. But the people that are supposed to have that seat missed their flight, so there's nobody in that row. Do you think they would have got sucked out? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, right? Was I that mean, just a window seat that wasn't like the door, like the exit uh, row? I feel like they had their seatbelt on, they'd be fine. The chair's still there. Yeah, I don't know. Cause when we go on those skydiving planes, they're only going like 120 miles per hour. These are going 500, 600, you know, so that's a big difference with. And they're pressurized when you have uh, like a, a commercial airline. They're yeah. they're pumping their own oxygen into there. When we go in the skydiving planes, that you you know, there's always something crazy that happens at the top of the year. I swear, always something weird. You're talking about the Japanese earthquake and tsunami. Yeah. Now I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, we already we already talked about that. We talked about. Um, no, I just was like, I feel like at the start of every year, there's always something like crazy, like that one year that that like, girl. Ate her tampon or whatever, and everyone fucking lost their mind. What year was that? Like that was like, like middle school. <laughs> yeah, like 2014. She pulls it on Vine. Yeah, it was insane. I mean, this is the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all going to look back and be so embarrassed of all the shit that we've done on the internet. Like I already am. I was talking about this earlier, uh, this, uh, this Y2K documentary that I watched where everybody thought the world was going to end when the clock strike midnight. Yeah. Looking back at all those people, they look so stupid, you know? And I thought about us when we were living through COVID times. I did the documentary and I started off making a skydiving documentary. Didn't know it was going to be a life-changing accident that, you know, that's what the story became. But I'm um, like, I know that I'm going to be seen in like 100 years or maybe even 20 years from now. They're going to see me in skydiving classes wearing the mask, you know, like you had to because at that time they were like, no, you need a mask. So I had to have my mask on and a skydiving helmet over it. And if you weren't showing mask there, they were like, you can't jump. Like, are you, what the <laughs> fuck? Like people are going to look back at that already right now. Everybody that goes and watches my most seen work, I'm going to look like a dumbass, you know? Yeah, it's so weird. Why the fuck would they make you wear a mask under a mask? You're already wearing a mask. Yeah, I know that, that <laughs> part about plummeting. it. But- but I'm just saying, like the kids, that, that, like the kids in 20 years from now that don't get what was going on, like they would make you, like even if you took the mask off for a second, they'd be like, "You need ma it's mandatory." They're just gonna think that on. you made that decision. They're just gonna think, "Yeah, look at this kid, so scared of getting <laughs> sick know, on an airplane." Yeah, yeah, while he's skydiving, <laughs> it just doesn't make sense, you know. You have those questions? Yeah, we could get to the questions, I guess. I, well, I thought you wanted, I don't know, I'm sorry. Uh, you want to talk about Christmas dinner at my, with my family? Yeah, that sounds nice. I actually did want to ask, how, how was your Christmas? How was your New Year? It was or, good, it was what? good. Uh, when I went to my brother's house. Mm -hmm. New tradition. Yeah, the new tradition. He has his own Italian side of the family. His uh, wife is Italian, and my sister-in-law. And yeah, so my brother's brother-in-law, yeah. he's like Lil Mo Mozzarella. He's like, he's just a fucking loud, like funny guy. Yeah. And he's a, but he was a bus driver. He's retired now. But he was telling me these stories of like how he hated his job so much that he would do all these crazy things to get out of work early. Like he would call his boss and be like, I, like I, I sharded, I shit my pants and I got all the shit running down my leg. The bus stinks. You know, I need to get the fuck out of here. And then all that gossip spreads through the whole bus garage yeah. and then they're all like hey you, you do fucking shit your pants you but sharp he just wanted to get out of work that bad like he hated <laughs> his job that much he said one time he would throw eggs all on himself and egg his own bus <laughs> and he would be like yeah a bunch of fucking punk kids got me with eggs and he'd throw eggs all over himself and then go back to the bus garage be like well i gotta go home just why didn't he just hours. quit why didn't he just because quit? you gotta wait when you get in those city jobs you gotta wait the 30 years to get your pension so you have your health benefits and you still get paid at your retirement plan so he's stuck there. It's like how they trap you over there. Yeah. That's why I said this life ain't for me, dad. I'm out. I don't want to be a bus driver. Nah. No, I want to be a podcaster. I want to talk about my problems <laughs> online. To everyone. Yeah. Let's actually get to the questions now. And that maybe was we'll... your that was your Christmas dinner? <laughs> That's all I took from it. Yeah. <laughs> was that he threw eggs at himself to get out of work. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell me about like how nice it was to see your family and everything, but no, you're just going to tell me about a guy who shit in his pants and threw eggs at himself. Yeah. No, no nothing else really significant no, I, happened. Yeah. I got my parents tickets to the Rolling Stones concert in 
it's like in April or some shit. I'm gonna go with Mike and Mike's taking his mom, so yeah. we're all gonna go rock out with our seventy year old parents at the bowl. It's in uh, New York. It's in New Jersey or some shit uh, or MetLife Stadium. But uh, yeah, I don't even want to tell people. Like, I, I didn't actually buy the tickets yet. I was just there at Christmas, and I was like, "Listen, this we're going. I'm gonna take care of it," you know. And I gave my dad some cash and some weed. I said, "Go smoke your brains out and gamble," <laughs> you know, because that's what all I want to do: smoke weed and gamble. <laughs> uh huh. Sometimes. Damn, you are becoming your dad. You're scary. Screaming it's very scary. Children. And my dad actually did scream at Stephen before too when he sprayed the bleach all over my mother's basement. So I, I, I really saw it. I was like, "Holy shit." I'm turning into this psychopath. But yeah, I'm not doing this whole therapy session with you right now. Dude, you know what you're trying to fucking do. You want to take callers? Yeah, let's take a caller. Jeff hates his Patreon fans. Claire, you little rich, spoiled brat. This fucking, this girl Claire in here. She's She lives in that salt burn house, probably. That's fucking shit I got to deal with because because of Patreon. Uh, they Basically, this is my boss at the bus garage. You know, I don't have yeah. anybody else to answer to, but since they pay me, I have I work for them. Listen, Claire, I shit my pants. I got to go. <laughs> I got to get the fuck out of here. You don't want to grab eggs. And- this is, these are all like 1% of my boss, each person in here. Oh, guess who I saw? I don't on, care. Guess who I saw on the boulevard the other day? Spider-Man? The Joker. The Joker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did he remember you? I didn't see, like, I didn't go up to him. <laughs> I just saw him. And I was like, oh, man, miss that guy. That I was- miss when we did crazy shit like that in here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Second episode. <laughs> yeah, that was when we were. I didn't, I didn't even take it serious. Like, it was a real show. Or was ever going to be one? This guy. Yeah, I miss him. Let's bring him back on. Let's see make him the to? next guest. <laughs> see what he's up to. He DMs me every day. Yeah. I talked to him. Still. The Joker of Hollywood? The Joker of Hollywood, yeah. I rolled up on him the other day. I pulled up with Mike, and Mike was vlogging it. And I was like, yo, you don't remember me? And he was like, nah. And then when the cameras cut, he was like, I was just fucking with you. I just wanted to make you look dumb. <laughs> and I was like, damn, bro, you fucking... Now Mike's going to edit that and only cut that clip. You know, he's just going to... And he did. That's crazy. He's a talent, that Joker. Have you ever seen him not on Hollywood Boulevard at night? Like... Someone, my friend was telling me, like, it's creepy to see some of those guys, like, on other roads at night just by themselves. Like, him. Imagine him walking home. Yeah. You don't from even work. know, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Just a couple that's visiting LA. They're like, oh my God, who is, what is that? Yeah, this he is, is scary Joker. at he's night. He's just smoking a cigarette coming down the yeah, alley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's extra scary at night because he's like the Joker, but he's from the hood and he, like, talks like a fucking yeah. gangster. You know, it's even crazier. I saw him one night with Jonah and Jonah, like, wanted to do this next chapter that I'm saying now I'm gonna do these investigative journalism documentaries that take a long time to do. He was like, can I do that on you? And the guy was like, how much are you gonna pay me, dog? I want a million dollars. And Jonah's like, huh, huh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll message you. And like, like he left, he was like, nah, I ain't fucking with this shit. I was like, bro, if you can't even get past that, you're not gonna be able to do the type of shit, this life ain't for you. Yeah. Like what we're about to do, you know? I just smuggled fucking drugs back from Mexico, did it. I brought them here. You did? Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. Wait. Um, nothing serious. Just to just wanted to get my feet wet, you know? Was that just... Were you filming? Yeah, myself. First person vlog, and I didn't even bring Kyle. I don't want to jeopardize anybody else. Damn. That's why you went to Mexico? No, nah, I went for New Year's, but and then I realized I don't like this shit. Partying for New Year's, going to an event that everybody takes too serious. You know, they're like, oh, this is my New Year's night. I'm going to wear a sparkly dress. Or I'm going to, you know, yeah, have somebody to kiss. I didn't have none of that. You know who I was with? Who? The cartel. Allegedly. 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 Yeah. Really? Yeah. Allegedly? Uh-huh. Allegedly. Yeah. And I had a the great time. cartel, allegedly. I had a great time, allegedly. Did Kyle tell you about how we were just shitting and puking for New Year's? That was our New Year's? What, did you guys drink too much? We got food poisoning. That's bullshit. You guys drank too much. No, we it's... got food poisoning collectively. Wait, you actually didn't believe me when I said that? Food poisoning is very similar to like a severe alcohol poisoning hangover. No, did you guys I, drink that much? We, we drank, but not that much. Not enough to... We, it was like... It was we horrible. Like one pack. Yeah. Horrible. Okay, Pretty I'm boring. getting so much hate. Let me answer the fucking questions. What's the one? The top voted question is, who's your most annoying fan? Let's start a war. Ah, uh, let me guess. Yeah. Fuck you. Maybe the person that asked the question. Amara. I like Amara. Sometimes. That's the question that you guys wanted me to get to. There you go. Amara, the one who answered the question, you win. Done. Next question that is upvoted the second most 
If you could put two of your fans in a boxing match together, who would it be? See, this is the type of bullshit that the mainstream media is not going to want to listen to. That's why I got to do Patreon Lives extra. I'm going to do extra ones just where I talk to you guys about stuff like this. I would put... It's got to be... I'd put Magic Mike. An angel. <laughs> no, no, no. Angels, no. She's not... I'm not putting her in that situation. Magic Mike's a nut job. He's in here right now. He's the one who's saying, yo, what's your thoughts on Uf <laughs> UFC 300 already? That's what he wants me to talk about. He wants me to get a UFC 300. Magic Mike. I would put him up against... Medicine. Medicine. Damn, remember him? He hasn't been around. He probably got fucking killed in war what are you, or what something. What are you talking about? He comes on the Discord all the time and talks Does about he? UFC. No way. I would have thought he got, like, taken out doing a heroic act or something. <laughs> Medicine. Yeah, that'd be a fire matchup. Magic Mike versus Medicine. Damn. That's UFC 300 material right there. For us in our own little JBFC, Jeff Barbershop Fight Club. All right, be Med. Nah, I don't know. We've never seen Medicine. We heard his voice, though, and it sounds like he has decades of martial arts training. And this, I'm like size to him. Yeah, he sounds like a fucking monster, like a Viking. Um, are you excited to hear Gypsy Rose's take? I don't know the Gypsy Rose stuff. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'll find out. Oh, and it's asked by Claire, too. Um, damn. She killed I definitely her. lost she the killed, Patreon. It's very simple, today. Jeff. She killed her own mom because she had Munchen syndrome, so her mom was super abusive. She killed her, then the cops took her into prison, and now she just got out. But also, the mom would always, like, lie to her. Yeah. So she got off because she was like, well, was, my mom oh, was she, mean to me? No, her no, mom no, was no, like, her time. mom lied to her that she had diseases. So she could cash checks in the city. And believe, and then she believed it, and it was like psychological abuse. There's a whole Hulu series about it. So you could legally kill that person that does no, that? No, no, no. She did the time I, for it. She organized she it with her boyfriend at the time. But I think her boyfriend's owner actually did the killing, right? Yeah, but Gypsy... So he's like, doing life. Yeah. Yeah, Gypsy did less, and she just got out, and now she's like the most trending hot thing on the internet right now and like all these interviews and all this stuff for killing her mother or organizing the killing of her mother. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. You make the call. You're just as bad, you know? No, it's dope. Is it? Yeah, everybody likes it. Everybody thinks it's dope. Okay, that's dope then. She basically she killed, killed her, her abuser. She killed the person that was fucking her life up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. She wasn't like sharing the money with her. It wasn't no, like that. No, she no, didn't no. know about it. Her mom was taking advantage of like, oh. gaslighting her. And her mom, it's called Munchen, Munchen's syndrome, Munchausen syndrome, something like that, where you can lie to your child and give them diseases and make them like. Dude, this mom like lied about. Like, like her she age. thought she was like younger than what she really was. She was just taking like sugar pills as like medicine that she thought she needed. Yeah. She wasn't allowed to use the internet, no phone, nothing. And like the mom would just cash in all these. Told her she checks. couldn't walk and shit. Yeah, yeah. And she just lay she, in bed. So she wouldn't try and walk. Uh, <laughs> you just all right. Never mind. Whatever. This is why I don't want to talk about topics I don't know about because I say stupid things like that. You know, like no, it was just like it's gaslighting to the point where like they she believed everything. Yeah, it's her mom, bro. Like you've seen that movie, The Sacred. Uh, like um, say, you have to like the guy has to basically kill one of his family members, sacrificial lamb or something. Uh, uh I haven't seen that. The killing of a sacred lamb. I think that's the same guy who did fucking the movie I was talking about, small or f poor things. Yeah. Yeah. Well. He's got oh, it's the same kid from the movie Saltburn. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Holy shit! I've watched now. I've watched two movies that I can. Damn, I guess I'm a big fan. What's his name? Harry, <laughs> Barry. Jerry. I don't know. Jerry, um, Oliver. That's what I know him as. Yeah, Oliver. What is it? Did anybody? Call He's the new Harry? like Evan Peters. Barry Keoghan. He's the new like Barry Co. I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah, he's in. Yeah, I could see that. He's just got a, like something. It's some weird vibe, but it's like kind of cool. I just can't tell what it is. You're gay. Okay, that's the only. <laughs> that's the only thing I got right now. But I'm like, it can't be. That can't be. I he's can't. A, he's got a cool, weird vibe. I can't figure it out. I just no, wanna not hang like, out with not him. Like I want to be, <laughs> be with him. What are we, what are we, no, like almost like you almost like feel bad for him. You know, like you like yeah, I almost he's like got that loser bitch face, right? <laughs> You said it. He does have a, like a. He kind of has a punchable face. Yeah. He really does. Maybe the nose on him or something. Yeah. But you also like you're like but you're dope and you're like I can't decide if he's ugly or handsome. Yeah, that's you know what, what I, I mean. That's that's what everybody says in the movies too, and that's what they're saying here in the chat. 
There, some people are saying he's hot. He's sexy. He has nice eyes in a weird way. Yeah, I, 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 pretty much everybody in here wants to fuck him. Damn. I think he's ugly. Oh no, that's about you. They were talking about you. Everything's positive about Barry. Harry, whatever the fuck. Um, Jacob, a lordy. That guy's hot. <laughs> Bro, what's going on? That guy's a that hot guy. Bad. Damn. You know he is. Is he British or is he American? I don't know. Because he just played Elvis too. Because he did a really no. That's another guy. No, he that, played him too. What that Ryan mean? thinks is hot. No, no, he didn't play Elvis. Yeah, he did in the Priscilla movie. Uh, that just came out. Really? Yeah. It's not the one from last year. That no, came not out that. I, not that, with uh, Austin Butler. Oh. Uh, in Euphoria, he was like so opposite of the guy he was in Saltburn. He's got yeah. range. Because in in Euphoria, you're like, kids got range. Fucking yeah. hate this guy. Yeah. Fuck this good looking kid. Tall. Yeah. You know, he goes to work out i'd see him sometimes at the gym um drives a range rover and now you know? and then you see Saltburn, and you're like he's nice now i'm like damn the kid's got range he did it like i believed it it was one of those movies that i was watching that i was like all right i'm i don't feel like i'm watching acting you know i yeah. mean like you know you are but there's times where you could like get lost in it and he he did a good job but i don't know if he's british and he does an english accent i was wondering the same thing because they could do that better than us trying to fake being british for a whole movie you know you we'd fuck up and if he was american he did a pretty good job of being Same. british yeah but he did that one first so what do you mean he did euphoria first so you know like that'd no. be the way to trick people like you come in like oh i'm this british actor i know but what i'm saying is if he's american it's impressive that for saltburn it's impressive british yeah but I, it's easy for them to do our accent should i see it because it's stupid our fucking accents dumb and lazy I wish we were. I wish we spoke like old-fashioned. What's his name? English people. Elordi, Australian. He went to school in Melbourne, Australia. Fucking knew it. I got it before. I got it at the same time from the chat here. Australian actor. He's Australian. Yeah, Australian people could fucking do any voice, and it sounds right. You yeah. know. Yep. That makes sense. Oh, he don't got range. He's just Australian. That's where we should go. Australia. You know, nobody's been to the middle of Australia. It's too hot. It's too hot. Nobody's no been. Nobody's been. Let's go. I'm down. You got to get a visa for Australia, though. Why? Because it's what they, they take their shit serious. They don't want fucking nut jobs going in there to go to the hottest place and just burn themselves and film a video <laughs> and post it to Americans <laughs> and be like, look, this is how fucking sh if you go to Australia, you'll die, you know, and then it fucks up their economy. You can't and just everything. use a passport. Yeah, I think you just you gotta apply and it takes like a day. Do you want to take a call? Yeah, let's take a call. I would love to. I uh, hope it's who I think it is. I explored parts of Australia that no one ever has. Huh? Yeah. Hey, how you doing? You look great. Thank you. I'm doing so good. I am so happy. I love this time of year when holidays are over. People are kind of back to reality mm -hmm. a little. Yeah, people don't expect you to do that much work. You know, you could do a, li a live stream Patreon, just throw it up as your episode for that week. Right, yeah. Have Everyone's you been back to work or you just been chilling, binge watching movies and shows and stuff like us, smoking no, weed, gambling? I've been, yeah, I had holidays, um, you know, smoking a little weed, no gambling. I, I'm just not into it, but I, I like to um, watch people gamble when they're my friends and like pretend it's They want to know your name. Um, can I say your name? name? Yeah, yeah I'm here. Like, yeah. That's just what everybody's asking. Maybe they want to DM, DM you creepy shit. It's not Magic Mike asking, so it's like, it's cool. Magic Mike's married. Is he? Yeah. That fucking, that woman is a strong <laughs> woman. That's a strong woman. Um, yeah. Yeah, say, because I guess they want to follow you on Instagram and stuff and DM you weird stuff. If you're, oh, if you're okay. That. My Instagram, I, I don't remember the handle. If you want to follow me, I think I'm on you now sometimes as Shark Law. Uh, I think that's just yeah, I have. On, Other on Mew? You now. On Mew. I said you now. <laughs> oh, oh, you now. Oh, I'm, on yeah. Twitch. I'm on Twitch. I am. I'm Mermaid Law on Twitch. You are a marine biologist or you were in school for it at the time, right? I was in law school. I thought you loved like marine life though, right? I know why too, right? I know exactly why. It's so funny. It's right in here in my little thing. I was thinking it looks so it cute. Like right she's there. in my house, right? <laughs> yeah. So you had a poster of marine life. Okay. Yeah. Do you know, yeah, do you know anything about orcas or uh, any deep sea um, 
organisms or anything like that? A uh, little, nothing too interesting. I know SeaWorld did 9-11. Um, and at first they were trying to kill sharks and use this chemical that you can find in plants to what? find, um, sea world did nine 11 sea world. That is what she said there. Right. Back to nine 11 again. It is. What do you Roman mean? Sea world did nine 11. I, I saw it on YouTube, but, um, it was pretty convincing. So there's a lot of YouTube videos that have their own version of how nine 11 went, but I don't see how sea world was behind it. I know it was fucked up what they were doing, keeping those animals captive when they should be living out there <laughs> in, in, uh, in, 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 their, in their homes, you know? We shouldn't keep them locked up in a pool. If I kept somebody trapped in a bathtub, that'd be real fucked up, right? Yeah, I agree. I do. But, you know, they could argue about the difference between a person and um, a sea animal, mm -hmm. but... You know, mm -hmm. that's for people with too much time. Well, that's time. like the equivalent. It's like, you know, them in a pool is like a person in a bathtub for their whole or lives. Or you do an experiment. I don't disagree yeah. with you. I don't, they yeah. have to spend all of their time working in a, in a fucking bathtub. I'll stay in a Imagine. bathtub and they don't get a fed. week. <laughs> for a and week And they don't straight. get fed and they're malnourished and they don't get fed unless they work hard. And then that's why they're so skinny. Kyle, are you not, are you not paying attention? No, I was just thinking right when I sat in this bath about like it's been four years of sitting in this bath <laughs> yeah. you're gonna kill me like the orca did like that fucking sh which one did it they killed the person that was training them for seven years bro this is this is blackfish kyle's gonna come back how's the serial me. killer he, no, no, I, kyle's the orca that just gets because orcas are great they're there's such smart like cool animals and you fuck with them for seven years keeping them in this thing saying no you need to fucking get to work put on a show for these people you know these people paid a lot of money to come see you the the whale is just like the fuck just got, you know i don't get any money yeah they don't right? even, why am i doing this he yeah. doesn't get any profits from it it's it's not right they at least should kyle pay, gets money they should pay him you know at least you get money kyle <laughs> yeah i mean they should like agree on some kind of now um, perform now hit yeah. sound bites of orca noises. <laughs> they should do like whale, they should give him whale bucks, and every week they line up a bunch of stuff that he can buy. <laughs> whale and bucks. Spend his whale bucks. Whatever like he goes. Like he can buy a dead seal. Yeah, whatever he taps with his nose. Yeah. And then they take it from his account. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Give him benefits, health insurance, <laughs> dental. They already do that. Kyle just was just talking about that when he walked into work today. He said, "Yo, I'm getting health insurance. It's from from Ivan." I was mm -hmm. like, cool, that's fucking dope. Breeze. We're running a real business over here, you know? So I see that. You're on Amazon? Yeah. Uh, are you yeah. going to write a book? I hope so, because I think you'd be good at it. Uh, writing a book? Yeah. I can barely read. So. Yeah, I'm not the no, best. You can barely read, but you know, he can writer. talk. Yeah. You can you can read Oscar, so you could you can help him out, be his editor. Yeah, I could just blabber on here, and people could turn it into a book. I have so many stories of like illegal shit that I'm like I'm rolling out slow, you know. But I'm still doing some illegal shit, so I'm like, I'm like, you know, maybe sh I should wait to post this like seven years. Uh -huh. So Kyle, you got seven years to get that video edited. You're good. <laughs> okay. well, what's going on with you? What? How's your I life? Can write the Why are you so happy? Here. Why am I so happy? Um. Okay, so you uh, suggested this book, Think and Grow Rich, and I really took that to heart and I read it a bunch of times and I even had like the audio version and the abridged version. So it was super, it's like I could get through it in an hour, like an hour and a half and I would listen to it every day. And I'm like, I'm gonna make this much money. I'm gonna get this job. This is gonna be my life. And I, yeah. you know, to, to be transparent, like I'm grew up Catholic and I'm Christian and these, these, um, read like these books that i mean the book that i read it had a lot of christian values and it just really resonated with me and i'm like i get this, this is beautiful and um i don't know it just like worked in my life and uh i had this goal by the end of last year and i made it like just in time like what yeah 15 days no what was the goal what did you want to do well it was a certain salary and a specific job um and it, it was what i exactly wanted i don't want to like kind of brag about my accomplishments but no that's good um, i thought you were going to say something else like fucking kill my mother or something you know there's you could have said anything there <laughs> so. i love my mom for the record she's amazing um my mom and my mom's happy too this year and um yeah that's awesome yeah it's <laughs> really nice 
I love yeah. that. I love that. Huh. I'm in a good spot I'm too. I'm, I'm, I'm real happy. We're all doing real good over here too, except for Steven. She's the one that's that. Uh, he's not doing so hot, but you know. But hey, it sounds like he. You still love him and respect his work, and it, sometimes you just need some time away, right? Yeah, yeah, mm. you're right. Yeah. All right. Well, I, it was great to see you. You, you know, as well. Um, I'm happy, happy you're still here because I know a lot of people left and they're on to new people. They're watching either the wh who's new now. That's uh, uh, Sneeko, a neon. Yeah. <laughs> they're watching Sneeko instead. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My old audience yeah, here left. Back. back. Don't don't be saying they're, they left. They all left. No, they'll be back Just, and um, keep yeah. making the great content you do. Yeah. And you should stay a little more positive. Be right? happy for the people that are here. I am Amen. grateful for them. Can I ask you a question now that I have you here? Yeah, please. I would love to know your fashion predictions, some trend forecasts, things that are really popular in 2023 that you don't think will be this year, and things that you think were popular last year that will be popular this year. Well, anything like Y2K is now, like, like the 90s, 2000s style will continue i think or burn out in like five years and then we'll start dressing like what we're wearing now and then that'll be like you know vintage fedoras and fedoras yeah <laughs> fingerless gloves and oh i could see that um men wearing full face makeup and <laughs> no that's not gonna catch those boots that kanye wears I, those big giant oversized boots Easy yeah pods. no yeah the yeezy pods are gonna be in Crocs are going to be in huge. I think everybody's going to be wearing Crocs. Crocs are, I mean, that's already a thing. I but think I they're mean, going out. I'm going to take the under on that. Everyone's that wearing are, Crocs. I think even <laughs> you'll cop a pair of Crocs this yeah. year. No, I already have them. I gave them away. I gave them to Oscar. What do you think it's going to be? What do I think it's going to be? I think there's going to be a lot. I think a big theme is going to be people dressing up and like, being more formal than they used to. I think there's, you know, there's that quiet luxury that I think is going to continue. Um, but people are going to be like thinking, what does luxury mean to me? And finding their own interpretations of that and feeling, you know, more. more yeah. Fan. Like, like, uh, like how everybody wears like athleisure now, like during the day, I'm, I'm guilty of it too. I wear shorts too much. I feel like, and I feel like I'm, um, but you're always going, right? Like, aren't you always like going on a run or going hiking and like doing things? That yeah, but once life. I'm done with that stuff, I should be an adult and put on pants. I watch these YouTubers that are doing this other style of content that we're talking about doing now, and I see them wearing shorts. And you're you could be taken serious. You could be almost looked at as like a mainstream, like uh, like you know what I'm talking about these so YouTubers. These YouTubers just wear fucking shorts and they're going around interviewing people. And doing shit like that on the street, and they could just look so much more professional if you just had pants on. I want to like wear a suit. I'm gonna start wearing a suit. Start wearing suits every day. Every day. <laughs> yeah. Just start coming here every day. Yeah. In a can suit. we have like a new, um, like a what's it called? Not dress dress code. Yeah. Dress uniform? code. Yeah. Dress code. Yeah. Your uniform. Yeah. Is it yeah. <laughs> Waterman uniform is what we want. <laughs> that you want more rules implemented, Kyle. I think it'd be cool to like dress up before I get here. Get some uniforms for the bathroom, boys. That would be yeah. sick. Custom chatter. uniforms. Just chatter. Yeah, it's uh, like a plumber onesies. onesies. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be dope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm wearing a suit. I want to dress their role. Nah, you can't wear a suit. Orange and blue He's... suit. Like I'm a field reporter. Nah, because what? That's I got to be wearing the suit. If like, like a, like, you could wear a, like a, like, a, like a button down with a tie. Yeah. But no jacket, because then that's... Dude, like a Ron Burgundy. It's like, what are these guys? A duo? Like a blue and an orange tie. Dumb and dumber. All right, that's enough for this segment. It was great to see you. Thank you for calling in. And Thanks hopefully we get to talk to you again. Yeah, hopefully. You know, hopefully. We Take should care. do a segment. You could do the fashion segment. Sign me up. I would love to. <laughs> All right. Anyway, thank you so much. Take care. All right, bye. bye. Since she mentioned uh, book recommendations, you recommended Rich Dad Poor Dad, and she said Think and Grow Rich. Though I, know, I read them both, I, I know, but you recommended Rich Rich Dad Poor Dad, and that guy is a billion dollars in debt. Is he? Yeah. Damn. Don't like, take his advice or mine. That was two uh, two days ago. Damn. Imagine out. owing a bill. Yeah, owing a billion. Dollars. File bankruptcy. You're done. It's fine. Back yeah. What, to are zero. You, what are you gonna do? Back to zero. Don't have a billion dollars like that kid that did FTX. But well, that's a whole nother story, the FTX kid.
All you do is b- you file bankruptcy, boom, you're back to zero. Is that just a reset button? Yeah, it's a reset button for your finances. But you like, can't do shit for the... It's, it's like, like, like 10 years. You can't get credit. You can't, you can't get take a, you loans can't buy a out house. for seven years, yeah. You can't do... I well, mean, that's not... We don't, do, we don't do any of that shit anyway. Who cares? Um, so a new law went into effect at the start of this year for California that... Kyle, look this up. Oh, it's you the- don't have to pay a first and last month deposit when you rent an apartment anymore because that was like a thing that no way that and yeah. they don't they, you, they don't have to check your credit score for apartments so you just fucking you just like yo pay. i got an, I, if you got like four g's and you like see an apartment that's four thousand a month you're like fucking go in it and then after that you know just see what happens that's <laughs> good guys excited. that's so sick and they need to do some shit because everyone's becoming homeless. homeless yeah damn I'm six hundred thousand dollars in debt. Um, running up credit card bills. Just go get an apartment. Bankruptcy. File bankruptcy. <laughs> nah, not get for four that. Grand It'll cost you a- more lawyers in lawyer fees to get you to file bankruptcy than just paying the six hundred dollars back. You'll be all right. Look, that's good news. That means it actually goes in effect July first. Oh, fuck. Oh, so six months from now. Damn. Damn. Is it twenty twenty three or is it twenty twenty four? You mean? Yeah, this was January 2024. Well, Fuck. there you go. The 1% of you guys that live in LA, you can just in seven California months. move into an apartment. Yeah. Do you All know right. what? Everybody move to LA. You know what we should go up and look, look at? We should go break into cars in San Francisco because it's just decriminalized now. You just get cited. I'm down for that. You just get a ticket. You don't even go to jail. Even if you do, you get let go in 24 hours. You can just break in and steal from stores cars as yeah. long as it's under a thousand dollars those little one, one day arrests are so light i should just go do that yeah <laughs> for a weather segment you, you never <laughs> break into a car yeah all right let's, let's see, what see what we, what we find we in this fucking <laughs> fucking dumb fucks car sorry sucker and then you're just going through their glove compartment yeah i get a laugh look i found a fucking pair of airpods sucks for you <laughs> <laughs> and then you go into jail from the podcast coming out. It's a fan. Yeah. They're watching the episode. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It's Claire. It was Claire's car. <laughs> fuck you, dumb fuck. <laughs> we got you in fucking AirPods. Oh, man. All right. Look, guys, you were trashing me in the chat. I don't know if it's uh, a, like a thing that you're ganging up on me to, to fuck with me or it, we're actually doing a terrible episode. But look, we tried. Um, uh yeah, I'll do better next time. Wait, they actually be I mean? I probably won't. Uh, but I'll try. To Are they do better actually next being time. mean? Yeah, and it's okay. There's some nice comments. <laughs> Just won't look at it anymore. Um, hey guys, if you if if you tuned in, they're like, is this how the show's actually recorded? <laughs> I just I can't see their face, but I'm I'm guessing they're like, is this how they actually do it? Um, I haven't podcasted in fucking since last five year. months. Probably. I tried to make a joke there. I know. I know. I just didn't want. I didn't want to. You don't. You're better than that. Yeah. You're better than. See you next. Sometimes year. I just do shit to see if people are paying attention. You know, keep them on their toes here. I was listening. I just. I. I hated it. I just hated it. So I went over. I made it, it before. It's a terrible joke. I know. I've done a podcast since. Did last it at the year. first of the episode. <laughs> the first minute of the episode. Yeah, that's how I opened. That's how I opened today. Look, it's been a bad episode. It's been real bad. Start of a bad year of episodes and a bad year of everything. Ba- bad year of episodes? This whole year. All bad. All episodes. Yeah. yeah. So, you know. Get used to it. And the, the videos we're doing on the main channel going to bad places. You know, <laughs> bad stuff's going to happen. We're looking for the worst places to travel to. Get into the most danger, the most trouble. Crime. Yeah. I'm going to fight a man this year. Hell yeah. <laughs> Go to jail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking I'm gonna, about. Yeah. I'm going to shit in the middle of the street. Fuck it. Fuck it. Anarchy. What's the worst? At, what's Anarchy. Wor- yeah. That's what this year's about. The world's yeah. an angry place. What's a little more <laughs> anger really going to do? Yeah. I love that energy. <laughs> it's going to be a good year for people like us that are so negative and, you know. I'm going to light a building on fire. Arson, you get fucking like. Trust me, like I've I've thought about burning shit in in L. A. You don't want to do that because forest fires. Now you burn down one spot because you wanted to hit one fucking place, and then you burn down n- neighborhoods and miles. Can I miles freeze a place? 
put a whole you don't have the technology to freeze put something a whole, put a whole thing on, <laughs> on <ice. laughs> put, it's so much easier to burn shit than the free shit <laughs> Building, like get something building uh, frozen <laughs> <laughs> building frozen this morning in west la <laughs> it's just a block <laughs> who did it i guess all we have to do is wait <laughs> yeah. for the call out <laughs> Fire Damn. fire is a lot more serious than frozen. I feel like we could do that on somebody's car. Like a prank, like a like just put a whole ice block on it. Freeze Mike's car. Yeah. We should do that. <laughs> this freeze year. Mike's just car. Just go freeze it. Mike just got that new car. I guarantee he's just not gonna watch this episode, obviously, but I guarantee when he comes back on the next one, he's gonna be like, Bro, my fucking life's so hard. I just bought this three hundred thousand dollar car. Haven't even gotten to drive it. I've just been doing pods, just grinding, Damn, you know? He's going to give us a sob story. Fucking let's fucking put his car in a block of ice. Wait, yeah, let's really place. show him what's that up. That actually sucks. This is real world problems, bro. Now your car is an ice cube. You got to wait to drive it again. <laughs> he comes back from it. Just, he hasn't even been here since last year. He he comes back here and his car's frozen. That's fucking... That's <laughs> frozen a good, car. That's a good... Just a block. But <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 Who froze my car, bro? Um, all right. All right. That's it. We've been, we've been here for too long. Um, we should at least go do the cheese handles to him. You ever done that? No. You stuff cheese in the handles so that when they go to open their car handle, we should do that with peanut butter, cheese in the fingernails or in the Nutella. So he thinks it's shit. Or we could just light the bag on fire, put it on his door. He know that he's, he's good on, on pranks like or that. We he's should slick. Just fucking break the fucking windows. Or break, we throw, throw salami on break on the into the car or we take him it's um, been so hard this year I'll still his Logan hasn't talked to me I'll still we've been working too hard can't even drive my new $300,000 car wow <laughs> that's fucking insane if you would have just played that to me I would have been like alright damn you already said it <laughs> make Jeff say uh, sorry about this episode guys no don't make me say that I'm not all right. I'd like to apologize for absolutely nothing. This is... Sorry about this episode, guys. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, you really could just type out an hour-long thing. Yeah, but that's lazy. Just play them all. And I do this because I enjoy it. Play I love all. It. It's a, um, I'm passionate about it, and I would never do that. I would never put out a fake a AI episode. I glitch out <laughs> right now. This was an AI episode. That's why it sucked. <laughs> yeah, we, okay. should we should title this episode. This whole episode was AI scary, like, like parentheses scary. Yeah, that's a good. That might fucking. It, or we could say that uh, I found out that I am twelve percent gay. Um, all right, and that's it for the show. We'll be back uh, next week with another one. And then for the rest of the year, every week that comes, there'll be another and another and another until the asteroid hits us or the earthquake that fucking... You should be out on the... Or tsunami. You know what my toxic trait is? I think if a tsunami hit me, I'll just swim out of it. You know? You know what my toxic trait is? What? I love you too much. <laughs> See ya, guys. Hey, I'll come out a little gay. <laughs> <laughs>